Okay guys, I'm in Hong Kong right now. As you can see, it's a nice location, Sim Sha Tsui Station. Um, probably the most busy street in Hong Kong. Uh, but what I want to tell you is for three weeks, I had to stop riding at all. I wasn't doing any training. Uh, I strained my hip and I didn't think it was serious. I have never, I could never imagine that um, hip is so important, you know. It's that important that I was almost not be able to walk, you know, and even stand on my leg because it was painful, you know. So, yeah, it was really tough because you can imagine after training for one year, when you stop riding, even for a few days, you know, it seems difficult, but when you stop riding for a few weeks, you know, and still, the most tricky part was that you are not sure how long it will take, you know. Uh, it can take a week, uh, two weeks, three weeks, even more maybe. But I couldn't, you know, uh, realize in my mind that I could do that damage because I haven't crashed, you know. And I, and I couldn't realize that this kind of damage I could do because of the improper position of my bike, you know. My bike position, you know. So I strained my hip trying to go very low, you know. Uh, oh Jesus, sorry for the sound. Uh, so loud. So I was trying to go as low as possible uh, without doing core exercises. I think this this is what caused it. So definitely, yeah. The lessons of lessons I learned, you know, is uh, you should have a proper bike position because what I did essentially, I uh, pretty much lowered my bars, you know, as low as possible, and I tried to go aero. But you cannot sacrifice your comfort uh, for aerodynamics because eventually you won't gain anything. In the short run, it probably may seem that you're going a bit faster, but when it comes to sustaining the effort, um, your your body will just completely, you know, fall apart because, uh, like like I said, my hip it just strained, you know, and I, in the long run, like I'm I'm injured. I'm not even sure how long it will take, and it's the mo and like I said, the most trickiest part. The trickiest part is that um, you're not sure when you will be come back, when you will come back, you know, so. I was opening Strava and uh, seeing all the people riding, beating my KOMs and it's mentally very tough. But I know that I should look for positive things, you know, it's not about whining and complaining. Uh, it was my mistake, I shouldn't have um, lowered my bars that, that much. And honestly, I, I, I called myself stupid so many times for doing that. But yeah, so if you want to go low, if you want to go aero, first thing that you need to learn is find the comfort zone, you know, for you, which is comfortable, you know, the position that is comfortable. And this is gonna be the fastest position, and then train hard. If you want to go low, start incorporating core exercises. Because if you're not doing core exercises, don't even try going low on the front end. <laughs> it's, it's stupid, it's so stupid, you know, like, I lowered my bars and uh, pretty much, uh, you know, got injured. So yeah, it's very stupid, but uh, I'm grateful that I can walk at least, you know. I can, right now I can walk because for the last two weeks I was in just in pain, you know, to stand up on my leg. Uh, but it's like three weeks past and uh, I can walk and I hope in one more week I'm gonna be riding, but yeah. Such a, such a dumb mistake, um, yeah. Definitely after a race, I just put my bars at the same position that it was before. Um, and yeah, comfort plus efficiency uh, equals performance. So you, you shouldn't be sacrificing your comfort for this, this little gains, you know, because in the long run, it's not gonna bring you any, bring you any results, you know. And if you want to go low, First, start with core exercises. It's the lesson I learned, so it's pretty cold right now. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all the support. Um, I, I was really happy for the video I made, last one for the crit racing. Uh, and, I, and I will be doing lots of them. I will be doing, you know, power overlays, uh, lots, of, lots of other, uh, you know, videos of crits and races and KOMs. You know, I want to do KOM hunting. So yeah, lots of exciting stuff planned for 2018. Thank you guys for the support. Uh, yeah, really grateful. Thank you. Um, uh, uh, it's pretty cold, <laughs> very chilly. So 
yeah, I will go back home. Uh, we'll have a breakfast right now. Uh, but yeah, thanks. See you in the next one. Oh, <laughs>